kind of trouble Shocker's into this time. Understand we have another low information caller who thinks we're better off thanks to Spider-Man. Let's see if I can set her straight. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. I just want to say that I've never seen Manhattan so safe and peaceful. Compare what it was like when Spider-Man first showed up to now. Okay, fair enough, I will. Then we had police and firefighters doing a wonderful job. There was crime, sure, but nothing they couldn't handle. Of course, we do have things now we didn't have then. Maniacs who shoot electricity out of their eyes. Walking piles of sand. Nazis made of bees! Didn't Spider-Man put all those guys in jail? You're missing the point! They didn't exist before he came along. At best, he attracts them. But I've often wondered if they're in cahoots. Wow. I've never actually heard anyone say cahoots before. Look, all I'm saying is... I'd hate to imagine what would have happened if all those guys showed up and Spider-Man wasn't here. Another lost cause. Goodbye. following a severe car crash. Incident is ongoing near Union Square. Please copy. That car crash looks bad. Hope no one's injured. Hold on! Someone's pinned under that car. Need to hurry. Weather, huh?
An Oscorp visitor badge from when I interviewed there. Would have paid well. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just blow me down! Wow, that's considerate. What's the money for, Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. Just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level! Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman! At least talk to me so we can make it interesting! Herman? What? Do you only answer to Shocker now? Mr. Shocker? Gotcha. Now let's talk. I said I'm done talking. Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone. Or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. You know what, Herman? You have like zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. 
Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in art history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. If it's yours, some kids have been throwing rocks at me. Appreciate the tip. Spider plushie! Not getting much coverage. I should look for more towers to activate. You might have heard about the robbery at Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm uh, sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane, she's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. <sighs> Interesting. Where'd she find it? I'm really not sure. Why, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. It scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? 
No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. I'll get through this. I could really use a muffin. A blueberry muffin. Now, where did I put my library card? Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. in progress. Reports are coming in from Little Tokyo. Hey, an old-fashioned B&E. Gotta love the classics. Wow, you all forgot your keys? Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just... I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're yeah. better than this. <sighs> He's right. How did I lose track of time?
here. Mr. Lee spoke to me. He seemed worried. Are you into something dangerous? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry. I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work in a secure environment at Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry, ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something.
my prom boot in here. Crushed when I had to fight Fist. My Mark I web shooters. Managed to improve the storage capacity a lot since then, but the basic design's still the same. Once again, defend myself against the spurious claims from McDonald Mac Gargan, a.k.a. The Scorpion. Yes, as I fully disclosed, I bankrolled... Harry left me a message about these before he left for Europe. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but... Now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. Particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source.
nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. Nice to see you, dude. these clouds to be visible to the naked eye. The level of toxins must be up there. Getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff anyway. Freaking these people out. Uh, what else is new? Huh. 
Huh. The toxin's coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Perfect. Great light on that one. Best smokestack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped the public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was, but one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn! Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Would 
you look at that? Half the crime tower's back up already. When Spider Cop's on the job, come hell or high water, the job gets... Nope, nope, nope. Nope. She'd never admit it, but the Chief was warming up to Spider Cop. His casual disregard for by-the-book thinking was a breath of fresh air. She'd come around. Someday. Narcotics in progress. Converge on Grand Central. Over. Let the chatter, guys. Peter, I've been looking into the demons. Sounds like they've quietly established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. A vacuum I created by putting Fisk away. Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound... Herman! Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rest? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa! Your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid, you just stupid. You talk so much! Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure? Words per minute, syllables per second? Or is it more about how many words one uses to express a single thought? It's also subjective. If you ask me, some people don't talk enough. Like about who their mysterious overlord is, the person they're working for, that kind of thing. Coming your way. Okay, now I can do some real damage. anymore. You're lucky you found natural cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trading. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Oh, come on, Herman. If you tell me who you're working for, I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead. They made that very clear. Really 
Okay, catch this one with your face! You're freaking me out, Herman! It's not like you to be afraid of people! I'm not even sure these guys are people! Could be anything under those masks! Wait, these mask guys! What do they want the money for? Don't know! Don't care! None of that better than Josh! My God! on yourself. Literally. Man, he was scared and desperate. These demons are everywhere all of a sudden. Okay, Yuri. Shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. I'm not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on demon uh, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? Sorry, you probably don't want to know. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked. The fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. test particulate matter in the air. Now, you'd probably have some science jargony way to say this, but basically, too much is not good. Hmm. Readings are troubling, but inconsistent. The only way I'll figure out what's going on is to test nearby emissions. But I've got other problems. The sampler's detecting toxic particles. Better check it out. That steam vent's a good place to start. something in here that doesn't belong. Let's analyze it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Mercury. Bonded with... something else. I can't tell what. This obviously isn't confined to one building. A lot of people are at risk. See what a sample from this can tell me. See what a sample from this can tell me.
Nitric acid in there, too, but also something else. I'm on the right track, just need to keep following the trail. This is more widespread than I thought. The whole neighborhood's in danger from this. Stinks to high heaven. Time to find out what's in it. Ethanol. Why is this sounding so familiar? Mercury with nitrogen and ethanol. Gotta get back on the trail. When this is over, I'll alert the health department so they can check on the local residents. I found the problem. Caustic chemicals are leaking out of those barrels and into the plumbing. Need to clean up the site fast. Huh. The calcium and silicon and Looks like I'll have to make a mess to fix this mess. Nice! It's working! Just a couple more barrels. Last one! <coughs> Breathing this stuff in! Not good! That's it! Sealing the grate with webbing should stop any residual drainage. That could have been way worse. Harry's research station just proved why it needs to stay open.
so I looked into reports of demons. I knew you'd come around. They've been pretty busy tonight, hitting a lot of Fisk properties. They're going after Fisk? Damn. You thinking what I'm thinking? Brewing gang war? Let's try to get ahead of it. Are there any Fisk properties that haven't been hit tonight? Let me see. Patrol reported a bunch of activity at one of his shipyards in Portside. Thanks, Yuri. I'll check it out. Hey, Yuri. Any idea what Fisk uses that shipyard for? No idea. Let me send an officer to meet you there. His name's Jefferson Davis. That's his beat. He's a good cop. Been working the Fisk case for years. If anyone knows what's going on at that shipyard, it's him. Fisk beat the hell out of me with these. I almost used them for evidence, until MJ pointed out I was trespassing, so I'd probably end up in jail. Typical... on an armored car. Suspects are masked. Reported location is in the vicinity of Nomad. Said I'm all about it.